Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today, I am going to tell you how to integrate ClickView with Dynamic CRM so that we can extract the entities data from Dynamic CRM into ClickView and we can generate report based on the data which we have access from the CRM. So we need to do is we need to connect to the Dynamic CRM to extract the data but there is no direct way to get in touch with the Dynamic CRM or to extract the data from Dynamic CRM we need to take the help of a third party software so in this tutorial I'm going to take the help of a, I'm going to take the help of Data Direct Cloud to extract the data from CRM into ClickView and then I will be going to create reports or generate reports in ClickView so let's see what are the requirements first of all so that's the requirement. So I would like to display a pie chart containing account names with revenue or total revenue and display account name its puff and its preferred contact person and total revenue in a data table. And I will I would I would like to add a slider bar as well. In that slider I would like to create uh, display accounts or total revenue basically and when the, whenever the user move the slider the value in the chart and the data will be modified or the data will change so first of all let's see how to connect to click view with dynamic CRM to extract the data so as I told you that we will be going to take the help of a third party tool that is a data direct cloud so for that first of all I need to open a data direct cloud so that's the link for registering on data direct cloud so I have already done the registration if you want to register now means if you want to create a new registration you have you need to click on register now and create a new registration on pacificprogress.com register yourself over here and once you register it's a free trial version basically it's a 30 days trial version so you can access the data of dynamic CRM into click view or any other any other data within click view only for 30 days so I have already registered so I logged in I entered my username password and logged in into data direct cloud so no issues we'll log in again So it may take time to log in or to load the main screen. So I would like to connect to a data set. So I click on connect data. So you can see here basically we are logging into data direct cloud through that Pacific or progress website. So as you can see here that's the home page in this home page you can see that how much users we have done how much data we have transferred between our application between CRM and click view so this is applicable this is available right now 1024 GB out of 1024 GB I have transferred 1.3 MB of data and uh, now I would like to create a new data set because I have already registered I have already created a data source if I would like to create a new data source so I click on data store and there are various data source available so these are the available data sources Salesforce, Oracle, SQL Server, IBM, CRM, Hadoop, MySQL and Google Analytics so we can connect it to any of the data source open uh, this available data sources so our, my requirement is I would like to connect with dynamic CRM so I click on dynamic CRM and here I'll go with cloud I give a data source name so uh, let's say I give uh, new data source and description user ID this user ID will be the user ID of your CRM so let me check let so that's my user ID 
password now we need organization service url so from where to get this organization service url for this i switch to my dynamic crm in dynamic crm settings in settings under settings i switch to customization and in customization we have a developer resources so i open developer resources and from here I copy this organization service URL. So I copy this URL and paste it and paste it here. And first we can test the connection. So once the connection is successful, we'll get an error message that connected to data source, data store successfully. And we can save this data source. So our data store has created our data source has created. So you can see there are two data sources which is referring to the same CRM registration. Anyway, so we have done with this. We can test our data source whether it is connected successfully or not. So we can click on SQL testing and first of all we can choose the data source. So I would like to test with new data source, the newly created data source and I write a query where I select star or select name from account. So account is an entity. So you can see here account is an entity in CRM. So I would like to display these account names. So I write select star from account and execute query. If it if the query executes successful, it will display all the available accounts names within account entity and the output will be displayed in this result section. So it means the data the data source has been successfully established and the query is working fine. Now next step is to connect this data direct cloud with our click view so for this we need a data direct data direct cloud driver and from where to get that driver there is an option downloads so i click on download and here i'll get the various options for downloading the data direct cloud driver so as you can see here data direct cloud driver for windows 64 bit version 32 bit version for your linux version or for or or you can download the jdbc driver as well so I want to download the ODBC driver. So I clicked on Windows X86 driver and it will start downloading it. So once it is once it downloaded successfully, we need to install it on our system. So I have already downloaded it. So downloaded and installed it. So once it is downloaded and successfully installed, we can get it in our program menu. So you can see here it's a progress data direct cloud driver for ODBC. 32 bit version. So I open ODBC administrator. I click on ODBC administrator and here check the system DSN. I remove this. It is already configured. So I, I'm going to create a new one. So click on add and from here you can get a list data direct cloud. So I select data direct cloud 2.0. Finish. Give a data source name my uh, cloud DSN and database name so the database name is the data source name so the data source name is new data source so give the same name new data source it should be same new data source so we can test it we can test the connection username the username this username is of data direct cloud online this is the username or the registration which we have done on progress specific so that's the username and the password we need to enter for testing the connection click on ok so once the connection established successful uh, the, once the connection is success we'll got a message connection established ok so we ok and ok close it so that's the dsn name my cloud DSN and this DSN name we will be going to use in ClickView for establishing a connection. So 50% work we have done. We have created, we have downloaded a data source, a data direct cloud driver. We have created a DSN and now that ODBC driver DSN we will be going to use in ClickView. So I open ClickView. Here, create a new project. Save this. So I'll save it as desktop and dynamic CRM connection okay then 
click on edit a script so from the database list I will go with ODBC click on connect and once I click on connect you will see the data source which we created just now ODBC data source DSN we created my cloud DSN it is listed here we need to enter username password once again for establishing a connection successful connection so I enter the username password and click on OK so once it is connected once the connection established successful we will get the connection URL that's the connection URL now we need to extract the data of, of from an entity now let me show the entity that's the entity that's my entity's account entity in this entity I have got account name main phone address city primary contact email primary and if I open the any of the record I open this record so from here you can see we have account name and primary contact and the annual revenue number of employees and there are various fields are there so we can import all the fields or we can extract the data from all the fields into click view. so the connection is established now we need to extract the data from this account entity so I click on select and from here these all are the entities available entities from dynamic CRM so I select account click on OK save this and reload it so again it will test the connection establish a successful connection and load the data from dynamic CRM into click view so the 12 lines are fresh 12 lines means there are 12 records if you click on accounts we have got 12 records so all these 12 records are successfully fetched into click view so now we can generate reports based on this so first of all I would like to display list data into list so I create list box for account name so for the name field the column name for account name is name okay so we have name then I want one more list box for contact so for contact we have preferred contact ID name preferred contact ID name that is the contact ID name and if we want to create one more list box for revenue so we have got revenue field as well so I look for revenue field and select revenue field. that's the revenue field. now my first requirement is I want to display a pie chart containing account name with revenues with total revenues so how to create a pie chart again right click on this blank space blank sheet right click select new sheet object select chart and select the pie chart click on next so first of all we would like to display the pie chart according to the name based on the name so I look for name again the dimension will be name name dimension add it next and what will be the expression expression will be sum of revenue so I select sum of revenue sum of revenue ok and I give here total finish so you can see the pie chart has created then we have got all the 12 accounts listed here with different colors and if I take my mouse pointer on any of the record on or on any of the account name you can see it is highlighted separately means it is uh, we can easily configure that which section is from pie it is from which from pie chart which section it is if you want to display the values along with the legend over here so again go to its property page and we have dimension and show all values and if I want to show the text as a pop-up means when I take my mouse pointer on any of this section it will display the value its value so and when I take my mouse pointer it says name is called to city power and light sample and total revenue is this one. so this how we can generate how we can create a pie chart my next requirement is I would like to display account name with this preferred contact person and total revenue in a data table in a da data mo data block so for this again I right click new sheet object chart and this time 
I select the straight table. I click on straight table, click on next, and again the dimension will be naming name dimension, name dimension, and one more dimension I would like to add here that is the preferred contact ID name. So I add the preferred contact ID name as a dimension, and the expression will be again sum of revenue, sum of revenue, paste, and give the title total revenue and finish so the straight table has been created with the name is preferred primary contact and total revenue my next requirement is as you can see here in this straight table we have got total revenues primary contact so what i want is i want to display the total revenue the total revenue the the account whose total revenue is greater than 60000 i would like to display in a separate color and the total the account whose total revenue is less than 60000 display in a separate color just to categorize them just to uh, differentiate between them so how to do that i right click on this open properties of this straight table and click on expression in expression this is the expression which we created just now the total revenue expand it here we have background color select background color and in definition I write that if the revenue greater than 60,000 I want the color the background color is RGB I set 255 comma 255 comma 0 and if the condition is false the RGB will be 0 comma 255 comma 255 and okay and once we apply you can see the changes so the total revenue which is greater than 60,000 will be in yellow color and the total revenue which is less than 60,000 will be in this color so like this we can display the differentiate between them we can categorize them next I would like to create a slider bar for work more on this so I create a new object here and look for slider and in this slider this field field is revenue this slider bar will be associated with revenue so I select revenue apply and ok and you can see here as soon as I move my slider the values are changed so we can see that 10,000 there are we have three records of 10,000 we have one record of 20,000 one record of sorry two record of 60,000 80,000 we have one record 90,000 no record and for greater than more than one lakh or two lakh we have two record. so like this we can display our record as well and once if you want to clear the selection simply click on clear and will it will get back to the initial stage so that's all in this video I hope you I made you very clear how to extract the data or how to integrate dynamic CRM with click view so that we can extract the data into click view and we can generate reports on that if you have any questions you can visit our website uh, www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on click view till then have a nice day ahead goodbye